Howdy all. A very tired chat on the road here, but I bet I'm not as tired as some of the guys in this shed behind me. Check this out. This is the official home of Cool Chassis just outside of Warrnambool. I'm trying to pick a door first. Let's go through this door first because, as you can probably tell by the truck that's right there, guess who's inside? It's the Cricky Boys team all the way from Funbury in WA and they're not having much fun this week because they've just been working, working, working. Again, here they are working on this car. It's had three wrecks this week and thankfully TK went and put the thing on the podium last night. So Brendo and the boys are just about to get that engine out. You can see at the minute they've got it hooked up. And then everything's disconnected, all the bolts, fuel pumps, electrical. They pretty much just lag it under the back of the trailer. Hook the crane up to it, out it comes. So that's going to be happening for them. Spare chassis everywhere, as you would expect here at uh, the home of Cool Chassis. John Cooley's around here somewhere down there. As you can see, we're still filming for our uh, NZ World Series TV show. Our boy Richie's on the job once more. He's also our team driver, doing a very, very good job. Speaking of drivers, though, I think there's a few around here. Come in here, man. It's a driver of the S97 car himself, the mainline man, Sean Dobson. Give us a bit of a rundown as to what's happening today, man. Uh, pretty much just gone through maintenance. Um, everything pretty much just gets checked after the race. So um, we'll check all the motor, um, pull all your bars out, re-grease bars. Um, we had to pull the rear end out because we bent it from um, last night. So everything pretty much gets stripped down and pretty much rebuilt. Um, and yeah, just make sure everything's right to go. Just fixing the radiator over there at the moment, so obviously come loose from last night. So yeah, just going through all the general maintenance of doing everything and getting it all ready for tomorrow night. You've been pretty exciting so far this week, but uh, you've been keeping the boys busy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's been one of those weeks where um, we've been really quick in some spots and then we've uh, torn a bit of gear up. So it's been, uh, it's been a frustrating week for sure, but um, uh, look, uh, we'll just move on to Warnable and see what we can do there. Alrighty, so one more week to go, one more night to go in Speedwake, I should say. Let's go over there where it's nice and noisy because where there's noise, there's usually stuff to play with. And there's plenty to play with. Check out this old Camaro chassis, chassis, chassis. The big fella himself, Trent Pigton's hanging out. What are you doing here today, man? Um, just come to have a look. Um, got Paul is building us a couple of new cars, so just come to see how the process is going on that. Do you reckon uh, all these flies that are around here, they just love us West Aussies. Why is that? Uh, I don't know, I think they're here for the Tasmanians that have got in the shed actually. <laughs> this is a pretty cool shed. Uh, have you ever seen this many chassis in the one spot? Um, no, I haven't actually. It's, uh, yeah, there's a few here today, isn't there? Um, a few repairs and stuff going on, so pretty busy. Alright, well uh, you get back to working hard in your tracky dacks and your sandals. Looking very, very sharp today. One more thing I want to show you. It's not John Cooley's awesome dog. Hey buddy. And it's not John Cooley's awesome cool shirt. It's this chassis that's lying out the front. This is uh, the original grey chassis. Made famous by Kerry Madsen. And check out this for a bit of damage. Massive crash that he had a few years ago at Bunbury. Ding. The madman, lucky to get out of that one, mate. The reason why John Cooley displays this out the front so proudly, check it out. All the connections, all the welds held up perfectly. Chat on the road, signing off from John Cooley's place, the cool chassis outside of Warrnambool.